Good afternoon, Bugsters. It is Lieutenant Bug, and I am bringing all of you another video today. So sit down, turn your volume up, your brightness up, and prepare your eyeballs for my great video today on Clifford the Big Red Dodge. Okay, so this is something, today's video is something I have talked about for a very, very long time, and so many of you have been bugging me about it, so you know, I'm making it happen today, and I'm gonna spill the good news to you guys right now. For today's list, I guess you guys could call it of good news. We have Bug's Good News List, brought to you by Bug, and that list is very full. We have today my very first t-shirt giveaway on my Gen 1 Bugman shirts. This is the front, this is the back. You guys have been buying these shirts like crazy. I am running low and I just appreciate all of your guys' support on copying my merch. And I wanna give back to you since you've been so supportive to me and I'm giving away a shirt and this is how I'm doing it. So there's only a few steps you all have to do to enter in to win my merch. First, you have to be a subscriber to my channel, which if you're not already, what are you doing with your life? Second thing is go down and like the video you're watching right now. It only takes a few seconds to scroll down and hit that thumbs up. So if you want a shirt, be a subscriber, hit the thumbs up. Next of the process is go to my Instagram, which is going to be placed right here. It is bug underscore BMX. Give me a follow on Instagram, and then comment on my most recent picture of why you think you deserve a shirt. I want you guys to do funny comments, and the comments with the most likes, you're gonna win a shirt. So go comment, have your friends go to my Instagram, and like your comments, and then the more likes you have on your comment, you'll win a shirt, so it's that easy. Be a subscriber, like this video, follow me on Instagram, and comment on my most recent Instagram picture on why you think you deserve the shirt, and have it be funny. My channel is all about making you guys laugh, and now I want you to make me laugh by doing so. And again, the comment with the most likes on my Instagram wins a shirt. Now we get back to the, you know, the good news list, and again, I already mentioned this, the next mod that we are doing on Clifford the Big Red Dodge today is a modification that all of you have been wanting to see from me for a very long time, really since I bought this truck, and I've been putting, like, I haven't really been putting it off, but I've been waiting on a lot of things to line up, and it's finally happening today. Oh yeah, Clifford the Big Red Dodge is getting a five inch diamond die exhaust placed under her today and this thing is going to sound so good. I mean, even a five inch downpipe, no muffler, no cat, no more DPF rocket ship garbage. Like this thing is going to purr, it's gonna have cooler temps and overall it's just gonna be way better. Now this took me so long to do because I had to find a tuner for my truck because with these newer trucks, if you you know, take off the DPF and you put an exhaust kit on it, it starts throwing all these check engine lights and these codes and then the truck will go into like a limp mode. So you have to have a tuner to clear all that once you do the exhaust and I finally found a tuner. So this is the tuner I bought. It is the h &S Performance XRT Pro Diesel Downloader. Let's see if the camera wants to focus. There we go. So I got this and you know I can just, there's like preloaded tunes on here. Uh, if I want more horsepower, there's up to like I think 250 horsepower tunes, which I'm not really looking for right now. I just more so want to be able to put the exhaust on my truck. So I'll plug this into my truck after I get the exhaust installed. I found this tuner. I bought it used. It is already unlocked and ready to go. And I bought it off uh, BigNickelUSA.com. I've mentioned that website a couple times in my last couple videos. I've been buying and selling so much stuff on that website. If you guys aren't familiar with it, definitely go check it out. It's nationwide like Craigslist, but it's way more simple and it doesn't have all the junk Craigslist has. So if you're looking to sell or buy something pretty quick, definitely go check out the website. The link is going to be in the description of this video and I'll, you know, I'll even throw it up right here. Here it is. Go check it out. It is time to get this truck up in the air, start tearing uh, uh, the DPF system out from underneath of it, and then we will go for the installation of the five inch. So excited for this, just as much as you are also excited. And again, make sure you guys scroll down and leave a like on this video. Likes, you know, it, it helps videos grow, it helps 
It's just overall, it's good and I appreciate it. I love seeing you guys like my videos because then it tells me that you enjoy watching them and it makes me want to make more for you all. So if you want to see more videos and you enjoy this video, go down and leave a like. It takes a couple seconds. You can all tell the truck is nice and stable up in the air. And again, I want to say thank you to all of you that have tuned in to today's video. The support I've been getting from you all lately is just unbelievable. I love you all. So here you can see that we have NASA's rocket ship placed under the fourth gen Cummins. And then we have the downpipe right up to the turb ski. So we'll start taking this all off. We're gonna have to do some of the DPF sensors and take it all out. And trust me, Clifford, the big red Dodge, is gonna have one real loud bark. Here is an update I have the factory muffler out and the tailpipe. We have part of NASA's next spaceship torn out of the truck. Uh, let me turn on my flashlight so you guys can see what this looks like inside of here. That's, that's why my truck can't breathe and I'm getting terrible fuel mileage. So I'm super glad to have that out. Here is the other one. And then this is where we are at. I just gotta take out the rest of these lines and then the downpipe. Me and my brother put the exhaust on and then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like now. So starting from the downpipe, there is the turpsy again. We have the downpipe that comes back. I still have to do some stuff with the electrical wires. We have some more straight pipe back. We have the clamps as you guys can tell. Some more clamps. Here is a hanger in the back that used to hold the factory muffler. Here is another clamp and then Many of you told me that I should do this and I gave into it. I went on my Snapchat when I was doing this video and if you guys aren't following me on Snapchat, do so and you guys get to see a lot of behind the scenes stuff in my videos. But anyways, on Snapchat, all of you were like, Bug, when you put your exhaust on, please do an axle dump. As you can tell, I did an axle dump just for you guys. I was not planning on doing it, actually I was planning on doing the side exit from the back tire. Still have to order or find a nice stainless or chrome tip, whatever, to go on this. It'll just clean it up. I'm gonna take this off and probably my spare tire just cause these are all 37s anyways. But I'm gonna worry about that another day. Now that we have this all set up, we have to do some spot welds under the truck. Not necessarily do we have to, but it's just nice to always know we'll just do a couple, you know, a weld there, a weld there, and a weld there on a, all the pipes. Just to know, you know, no, no leaks and that it's not going to ever go anywhere. We have the professional welder in the house, the one and only Hayden Welder Manning. He's going to be my welder. I know how to weld, I am not very good at it, so I need to practice some more. That is something I do need to work on. You know, we have a new year coming up, so that's gonna be one of the things on my new year's resolution that I probably won't do, is become a welder. welder. Anyways, my brother, since he's good at it, he's gonna do a couple welds on the exhaust. We have the XRT Pro from H&S plugged into my truck. We are setting it on more of a stock tune, but I'm clearing the check engine codes. That way, when we go to start my truck, it doesn't freak out because it has a five inch exhaust on it and all that stuff. But so far, I'm very impressed. This tuner has been loading everything super fast. It's very fr user friendly, so we're doing that now, and then you all get to hear how she sounds. Super excited and stoked for all of you to hear the second startup for me, but first startup for you guys. This sounds amazing, but I'm gonna throw on a hoodie because we do live in Utah. It is freezing. I know I always gotta rep that bug merch. Oh, hello. I will be setting my camera up and then I'll get in it. I'll start it up for you guys. I'll let it idle. I'll do the exhaust break. I'll do a few revs. Enjoy.
Make sure you go down and leave a fat like on this video. Again, it only takes you a few seconds. I want you to like this video if you think that my truck sounds so good with the five inch turbo back exhaust. I am extremely impressed with how it sounds. It uh, just sounds amazing. I'll even do a little ride along in the cab with all of you and you guys will be able to hear the exhaust break which is like what I'm super excited for. We're going to hit the exhaust brake and turn it on. My brother who's now holding the camera is going to be filming and you guys are gonna hopefully be able to hear the sound of the exhaust while we are driving and the exhaust brake. The first video with my truck's new exhaust system. I told you all of you it sounds so good and you know I wasn't lying I would never do that to you guys but oh man I am just super excited with this truck it's gonna make to be a great project once spring comes I'm tempting to vlog can you be quiet once springtime comes we'll get a nice set of wheels and tires I'll do some new headlights maybe in a next couple videos or something some tin i don't know i have a whole build sheet planned for this truck but i had to get it tuned and an exhaust on it and you guys have all known that i've been wanting to do that forever and again if you guys think that this truck sounds amazing scroll down and smash that like button come on guys let's get i want this video to get over a thousand likes like real quick let's do it but other than that all great videos have to come to an end which means this one finally is again you guys don't forget about my merch giveaway I listed what to do in the beginning of this video so if you skip to this part you better go back and watch to see what I said because I'm doing a t-shirt giveaway so go back and see how to win the t-shirt other than that I hope I hope all of you enjoyed this video with the new exhaust I can't wait for the future videos, but until then, I will see you all next time. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, share, and stay warm, because I am freezing right now. But I will see you again. Thank you all so much for the great continuous support on this channel. We are growing so fast. I'm getting amazing likes and comments. I just, I truly love you all. So peace. Wait, did you guys really think that I was going to forget today's Instagram shoutouts? Well, you were close, and I almost did forget, but I didn't, so here they are. Enjoy.